Hey guys, what's up, man? This is a project that I had in the works for a while now, basically just using what I've already had. And I'm gonna give you a quick rundown how I made this because again, they don't make this for the Ford Ranger, this uh, winch tray thing and push bar combo. So basically, all this stuff that I got on, I had it for a couple of years now. So basically, this is a Nissan Xterra. It was a grill guard and I cut the sides off and I cut the holes out to give it a little speck to it, you know, a little pop and uh, to make a push grill thing. I, I like that combo look like how the police officers have on their cars. And um, the winch tray was 35 bucks. I got this off of Facebook Market. Brand new, still in the box, luckily, you know, and got all the hardware from uh, Tractor Supply. So if you ever need some grade A bolts, go to Tractor Supply. That's the best place to go if you're trying to do a, build a project because grade A bolts are expensive, so is stainless steel. So let me give you a quick rundown how this goes. All right, this whole setup alone, this whole grill can come off. That's why I got two bolts on the side. So I can take this off if you want just the winch tray exposed. Or if you want a combo of a push bar and a thing together, a winch together, you can have that. And if you got a 2008 to 2000, I think it's 2008 to 2010. I mean 2011, the, uh, the tow hooks. And this is what I use as a mounting reference. So let me show you how I did it so far. Because again, I got to do my reinforcement. So basically, I just used the existing hose that's already back there. The two bolts that's at the bottom. You know, on the tow hooks that they got on both sides. So, this is just a mounting point for right now. I don't feel safe yet until I box it off, but you know, reinforce it. Because again, if you see right here on the trailer, I was going to put tow hooks right here. And, uh, I, but I said, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. So, I'm going to put the tow hooks there so the cleavage mounts could be underneath there. So, I'm going to box it off so that way, if any pulling force going left or right, it'll hold. It won't collapse or, or crumble. So, that's why. I got it on right now. I got it semi wired up for right now just to give it a good look. But you know, I got this winch a 12,000 pound winch. That's like three times more than what I need for, a, for less than a 5,000 pound truck, including a rooftop tent and, and these big ass wheels that I got, which are 33s. But it looks damn good. Thank God I got my gears reinforced. I mean, changed and you know, I upgraded to 456 and I got lockers on it. So um, later on, I'm going to give me a snorkel. But back to this, um, yeah, so basically this is how, I'm gonna go with a, I can go with a 95 or a 10,000, cause that's what I really want. This thing is like 78 pounds. And a 10,000 pound probably like, it's like uh, 65 alone. So a little bit lesser weight. And right now this is, if you guys are just want a steel bumper to save the weight, this is a good project. You know, after when I get, I'm in the process of getting a winch bumper made or I'm buying one. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but um, but again, if you want just to save the you know the look of the OEM look and still want to have the off use of a winch, there it is. So this is what I got going. And if you're interested, I've seen you some more up close pictures and pics about it. So thank you for watching.